we will solve the linear systems, try to solve linear systems. of the first order equations. Mm -hmm. And we will start, so task number one. Put the initial value problem. plus 2x minus 8x equals e to t x of 0 equals 1 x prime of 0 equals minus 4 into the form of the first order matrix system so into the form equals a of t times x plus b of t. Mm -hmm. So we start with this. So the first step in our study is to try to convert to, um, okay, to transit, to convert um, the second order, so higher order differential equation into the first order vector equation and vice versa, right? Uh, so at the um, second part of our seminar, we will try to solve mm, these systems, converting them back into the higher order differential equation, one higher order differential equation, like in our example here, right, on the, that part of the blackboard. But how to go from this single equation to the system of linear equation? How to reduce the order and to um, obtain this fact equation. In two, uh, so uh, there will be two variables, x and y, or x1 and x2. So let it be x1 and x2. And we should proceed as before, as in the preceding seminar, right? If we put, if we set x1 to be equal to x and x2 equals um, x1 prime or x prime. Mm. Uh, then we can rewrite this equation in the form, mm, in the following form. It will be, so x1 prime will be equal to x2 and x2 prime what is x2 prime so we can see that x2 prime is equal to x2 primes double prime so uh, look here since x double prime is e to t minus 2x prime plus 8x then we can represent x2 prime as uh, so we will start with 8 x1 minus 2 x2 plus e of t and in the matrix form it can be written as so we need the matrix the matrix the matrix will be 0, 1, 8 minus 2 times x1, x2 plus what is b of t? b of t should include the non-homogeneous part. So it would be 0, e to t. So this is the vector form, the vector form. Or we can replace this by, in just a moment, I will replace this vector. So in the vector form, it will be just x. Okay, is it clear? I think not difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, now let's try to solve something. I will use this part. Task number two, let's try to solve something. 
mm, let it be x prime equals minus x plus y y prime equals 4x minus y okay let's try to solve this linear system so as before as in the example from from the lecture on the lecture we should consider one of the equations for example the first equation and differentiate it one more time right so take one from one we will differentiate one and we will get x double prime equals minus x prime plus y prime so this is the first step so, so we differentiate x twice right x twice and we differentiate the right hand part mm -hmm. so if we differentiate uh, if we differentiate both parts of this differential equation we will get this next we will use equation number two and our goal is to eliminate y right so our goal is to obtain the second order differen linear differential equation only in one variable in x we want to eliminate y prime so to eliminate y prime we may take the second differential equation and we can see that y prime is equal to this expression right for x minus y and we will substitute it right so y uh-huh so from two we, we can see that it is minus x prime plus 4x minus y. Yes, we have y now. We have eliminated y prime, but we have y. But to eliminate y, we will again use 1. <laughs> so from 1, it follows that y equals x prime plus x. And we will substitute this for y. Right, and so I, I, uh, I will continue, minus x prime plus 4x minus x prime minus x. Okay, we are done. And now we will solve this second order differential equation. It looks like x to prime, uh, x double prime, min, uh, equals minus 2x prime plus 3x. Mm -hmm move all the terms to the left and we will get this then then characteristic equation lambda squared plus 2 lambda minus 3 equals 0 so the roots is lambda 1 is mm, 1 lambda 2 is negative 3 it can be obtained from the y theorem so in my mind right so the so uh, one uh, satisfies this equation and the second one can be obtained from the y theorem there the product must be equal to negative three so, so uh -huh. we're trying to so wait is there any difference in having to get these roots again uh, okay so so how to uh, get the roots quickly yeah. <laughs> so you you may try to guess so the the easiest uh, the easiest the roots are one and negative one. So sometimes it can be seen that one is a root because if we substitute one, we have one plus two minus three. So the coefficients, the coefficients help us to guess that one is the root. So why can't we guess? And and next minus three. Yeah, well, right. So we have the Wyatt Wyatt theorem. Do you know the the product Vieta theorem Vieta? via theorem <laughs> right so the product of two roots do you know follow the by uh -huh. the product of two roots must be negative three and we guess we have guessed the the first root one so the second one will be, uh, should be negative three because their product must be equal to negative three well one just guess so yeah. that the first question. Ah, ah, so the, this form, only this form. So uh, the first example shows how to um, go uh, from, uh, so from, from one second order equation to the uh, linear system of the first order equations, right? Move from, 
from this, this, this only this form, not solve. The, the task was not to solve, only to rewrite this um, second order equation as the first order system of linear equations. Just, just, just rewrite. And we can see that we may go back from the linear system to one equation. Uh, sometimes mm, this is not true. So, mm, for example, for example, so the best example for this is x prime equals x, y prime equals y. We can't go from this system to one second order equation, right? Because they, uh, so <laughs> they're not related maybe, right? So sometimes it is impossible, but generally, Yes, we may go from the higher order, one higher order differential equation to uh, the system of the first order equations and back. The advantage, right, so the, the advantage will be seen maybe later. First advantage was discussed during the lecture when I proved that if the system is linear, that the maximal interval is R. So it is the global, the, or every solution is global, right? Then linearity, if we can see that the homogeneous differential equation, then the set of all solutions form the n-dimensional linear, uh, n-dimensional vector space, right? So um, this is the second advantage, but uh, we will discuss uh, the advantages uh, in what follows um, on the next lecture and we will try to study uh, such systems. Okay, so uh, today only the introduction to this theory, and we'll try. Uh, we, we're trying to solve them, to solve the equations. Right. So these are roots. Mm -hmm. So this means that the general solution. Uh, okay. So not x. Uh, so not not the vector x is equal to uh, c one e to the power t plus c2 e to negative 3t. Mm -hmm. This is from the preceding semester, right? Mm -hmm. From preceding semester. Right, uh, next, uh, this is x, but we need to find y. Uh, y can be uh, obtained from this equation. So, because y is equal to x prime plus x. So y is x prime plus x, it is equal to so g differentiate this equation and we will get c1 e to t minus 3c2 e to minus 3t mm, plus c1 e to t. This is x. So this is x prime and this is x plus c2 e to negative 3t. Mm -hmm. And uh, next combine similar terms. Uh, so we need not integrate. We just differentiate. We differentiate it x, not integrate. No, no, no. But how do you have to use normal? X? How how to? Uh, uh, not but sorry, uh, x. What is it? Ah, okay. No, просто из из этих корней. So from the characteristic equation, we have obtained. So the question was how to obtain x of t. Uh, so all right, from the characteristic, from the roots of the characteristic equations, they go uh, to the powers of e, and so we will get this. Mm -hmm. And this is x, uh, and uh, next we combine similar terms, and we will get the answer 2c1 e to t um, minus 2c2 e to the power minus 3t. Right, so this is the, the answer. So answer will be... So this is the answer. Well, uh -huh. okay. who wants to try to solve something? <laughs> the same. Uh, so x prime equals y uh -huh, plus 1 and y prime equals 2 e to t minus x. Mm -hmm. Right, welcome. 
Mm -hmm. I will help you if you need help. So, as you said, the first part we got to do um, is mm -hmm. get the X tag of the tag. Not dash, not prime, but tag. Right? I mean, or, or, so uh, I that, think that, that's this what is the slang. called it in my school, like X tag. Tag, tag? It tag. is called. It's, it's called tag. Tag. Like ah. differentiation, we call it X tag. Ah, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I know two <laughs> two names, dash and prime. I don't in British. In I British, it is called I, tag. I studied in a British curriculum. Right. Usual. British. Call it X tag. Is it usual? Is it common? Not tag. Who knows the term tag? Prime, prime. Uh huh. I call tag. And I, I I used to prime, and you. <laughs> uh, Kathy used uh, so you use dash, uh, yeah. dash usually, right? Dash. Mm -hmm. The third terminology. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, let's continue. Because if it's a constant, hmm? the uh, difference. Dash is D O T A G T A. Ah, right. Ah, and then dash. Dot or dot. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So if it's a constant, you just leave it. Uh, so not 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 leave uh, use it. I think adds to primes is equal. Ah, right. It's a constant no, and the, the right. Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so the um, the derivative of the constant is zero. I mean, so yeah. we may so we may uh, uh huh. Might as I well. mean, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So after this, we um we get to this point. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, then from. From the second equation, so you should take y prime mm -hmm, and substitute it into so our equation. Right. Correct. Right. We now have to go to number two. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. so it's okay. Uh, next, solve it. So yeah, so now we want to, um, how can I say, we want to get rid of the x now. No. Mm -hmm. How to solve? It is non-homogeneous equation. So you should move x to the left-hand side first. And the x double tag is going to be right. the same mm -hmm. spot. And then it's going to be equal to... I think uh, you, you must start with uh, x double tag, double prime, right? <laughs> x double prime minus x, uh, plus x, yeah. or plus x. Mm -hmm. X double tag plus X and it's going to be equal to mm -hmm. 2 e to t mm -hmm. e to the power of t. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be equal to lambda mm -hmm. squared. Mm -hmm. um, so this one is going to be plus 1 mm -hmm. equal to 2 e to the power Not, of t. No, so you should first, you must first solve the homogeneous equation. You should leave this right hand part. So write zero on the right and the first step is to solve mm -hmm, homogeneous differential equation <laughs> right know, a lambda equal to plus minus one no nope. <laughs> <laughs> i mean you said it's either solve plus this minus right. plus, um, why so <laughs> uh, so these values do not satisfy this equation. If you substitute one for lambda, you will get one plus one, two. Yeah. And <laughs> what about? Yeah. The hint is to use complex numbers. Oh, no. <laughs> Why oh, no? I don't like complex numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, complex numbers are not friends. Hmm. Um, copy. <laughs> copy. Use complex numbers. <laughs> Right. Next. How to write the answer? You, you may uh, take. Uh, uh huh. So take the new chalk. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so, as I understood, uh, since we have the lambdas, we can. Um, Push them in somewhere. <laughs> so Not e to t and e to negative three t and what what so is correct. So x should mm. be equal to e. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm 
still trying to get the algorithm. Mm, okay, so if lambda, I'd like to recall that if uh, uh, lambda is equal to a plus or minus b i, mm -hmm. then the particular solutions will be e to a t times cos b t and e to a t times sine b t. Oh, okay. So this is the same thing from the equals and uh, as a general solution, you should take this uh, their linear combination. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Um, so it's going to be and means plus. Uh, and so plus the linear combination of these two solutions. Linear, linear combination of these two solutions. Uh huh. X is equal to C one. <laughs> linear. How do you take linear combination? Okay. So you should multiply the first one by C1, for example. And plus C2. Plus plus C2, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. It's going to be um, C1, so it's going to be. Zero. What is A? Um, <laughs> here, A is 0. A 0, right. So it's mm -hmm. going to be 0. So basically, E, so it's going to be the power of 0, which is 1. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Multiplied by cos of BT. Well, B is 1. B is 1. Uh -huh. The T is, uh, so it's going to be multiplied by cos. Uh -huh, cos, cos T. Of T. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then plus, and then it's going to be the same thing, plus C2, e to the power 1, which is 1, which is going to mm -hmm. take basically just both of them out. And then it's going to be sine of T. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, correct. Right. Mm -hmm. This is X. And for Y. For the homogeneous equation. But we have a non-homogeneous, not y. So look at uh, look here. You have uh, two e to t on the right hand side. And how to manage with this? A <laughs> copy. <laughs> what shall we do with this? So this is not the solution of this equation. This is the solution of a homogeneous part of the homogeneous one. But uh, we have a non-homogeneous uh, right hand side. How can we? Mm, correct, improve this solution to Push feed this, uh, right, to feed this equation, right? Original equation equals 2 e to t. Who knows? What shall we do? For five points for the final exam. <laughs> you must look for a particular solution of this non-homogeneous equation. So we will use uh, the method of mm, undetermined, undefined, undetermined coefficients, right? The method <laughs> undefined coefficients or undetermined coefficients. So this means that um, we will be looking for um, the particular solution of this non-homogeneous equation in the form uh, similar to the right-hand side. Uh, it is equal to a times e to t. And now to find A, we must differentiate it twice and substitute here and equate both parts. Do you remember? No? You, Kathy, do you remember? So this will be the part a particular solution of the non-homogeneous equation. X particular. So to differentiate mm -hmm. twice. Differentiate twice, right. So be just uh -huh. go to this uh -huh. differentiate so and substitute differentiate y. just a moment uh -huh. uh -huh. correct then substitute uh -huh. why why two so <laughs> differentiate this this is a so it must be a a uh -huh. multiplies and this is a also Mm -hmm. Then substitute them into the uh, original equation. This one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not oh. <laughs> okay. no, 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 right, 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 right. Use this space. Mm -hmm. So can can I substitute for a two? No. Uh, no, no. <laughs> two a right uh, equal equal uh, so is equal to two uh, and the right hand side, and from this. We can see that, so not a, but the sum of, uh, can you see, uh, x double prime plus x. So you should find that. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> Just a moment. Um, um, so the chalk. 
<laughs> this is x double prime yeah. plus and this will be x so again oh, oh I got this you. I got equals you. I got you. two e right e to t right and then solve find a one one right it's mm -hmm. more than a one uh-huh okay. <laughs> and then uh then we have uh, the general solution <laughs> the general solution for this equation so we should you should add the general solution of the homogeneous equation and the particular solution so i need to add this and that right add add general equation of uh <laughs> general solution of a homogeneous equation and a particular solution of the non-homogeneous so you should do the following so the answer is x equals c1 i i i i'm rewriting this mm -hmm. cos t so t t times t and plus a particular solution which is e to t not two a is equal to one ah, so oh yeah of course <laughs> so this one uh -huh, we have completed next let's continue why prime all right uh we we want to know why not why prime yeah, yeah, yeah. How to find y? It's not as easy as that was. No. <laughs> it is very easy from the first equation. Y is equal to x uh, prime minus one. Okay. So it says that um, y uh, is gonna be equal to x dag minus one. Mm -hmm. so and substitute, differentiate and substitute it here. Okay. Right, so x prime, so differentiate this. <laughs> and right okay. here, Y equals to differentiation. So, um, differentiation plus the sign. Minus the plus. Mi the minus, <laughs> minus sign, right. Minus C1. What is uh, Is it C1? C1 yeah, yeah, yeah. sub 1. Yeah, my bad. C1. Uh, and then it's going to be C2 cos T mm -hmm. plus E. E T and, mm -hmm, and minus plus. 1. And minus 1 then. Not. <laughs> Plus e t plus e t and minus oh, yeah. one from here. <laughs> <laughs> plus e t and minus one. E t minus one. Oh, so this is correct. So this is x. This is y. So is it clear? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down. You have forgotten everything I see from the preceding year. So uh, no, it's a pity. It's a pity. Differentiation, I remember. No, so because you confused mi minus or plus, <laughs> the derivative of cos <laughs> minus or plus sign. <laughs> between. between, right? Half a so, mm -hmm. Approximately. <laughs> mm, next. <laughs> Now let's try to solve the initial value problem and after this I will discuss the preceding, the first homework. <laughs> so it's number three and number four uh, will be x prime equals minus 3x minus 4y. y prime is minus 2x minus 5y and it will be the initial value problem. The initial value problem. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so uh, ah, welcome, <laughs> welcome. Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry. Ah, да, 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 вот такое, да. Homework will be based on these tasks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then substitute y prime from the second. Mm -hmm.
multiplied by four. So four, uh -huh. maybe it's better. Uh, okay, uh, not to confuse something. Minus four multiplied, right. Mm -hmm. To avoid mistakes, I think it's better to write it in this form. And after this, we need to um, express y in terms of x and x prime, and this can be taken from the first equation, right? Uh, 20. Right, 20y, mm -hmm, correct. Okay, mm -hmm. and from the first equation, we obtain that y is equal to... Mm -hmm. Okay, minus four, uh -huh. mm -hmm. minus, right, mm -hmm. this is correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think minus, minus, uh-huh. I think it's correct. <laughs> Huh? Just move all the terms to the left. It would be better because next you will solve the characteristic equation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And guess the root. Try to guess the root. It's easy. Negative one. Mm -hmm. And by y theorem, it's easy to obtain the second root. Mm -hmm. Minus seven. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You may use this space if you need. X. X. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Minus t, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next, y. You need y. Y is here, right? Just y change here. the sign, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y is equal to mm -hmm. x prime. Step, do it step by step. Yeah. You know why it's equal to x? Mm -hmm. Divided by minus 4. Minus four, or just minus four. Put it here. Minus, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. So it will be twenty. Mm -hmm. Not t. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three X and uh huh. Replace X with <laughs> this <laughs> that expression. Uh huh. Simplify so we can mm -hmm. collect collect minus C one and and uh, the first term from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And after that, <laughs> you should substitute initial conditions. <laughs> Look there, mm -hmm. x of 0 equals 1 and y of 0 equals 4. You, you may use this part. So you have a uh, general answer for x and for y. And if you we substitute the, 0 for t, you will write the system of equations, of course. Mm -hmm. C1 mm -hmm. plus C2. Is it clear out of <laughs> Daniel? <laughs> y? Mm -hmm. X of 0 may be right. X of 0, because yeah, this is not the, the function. F, X of 0, depending on 0. Uh -huh. So we have found the general equation, uh, the general answer, and after this we need to satisfy the initial conditions. And so if we substitute 0 for t, we will get the system of equations. Look at that part of the blackboard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we need to solve simultaneous equations. Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Minus six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to solve. <laughs> <laughs> so Sometimes yes. Uh -huh. And the final answer will be x equals. Uh, you, you must substitute so minus six e. Uh -huh. E to negative t. Mm -hmm. Plus seven. Mm -hmm. Well, I've made a mistake. <laughs> this, so, uh, can you see minus here? So, it must be minus. Right? Ah, Mi minus, minus. Is, uh -huh. I, so, I just make uh, change. change. Uh -huh, <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So, it, it will be mi minus C1. Uh -huh. and then, so, if we add these two equations together, we will get. 3c2 equals 9, uh -huh. 3, and uh, if it is 3, then it is uh, negative 2. Uh -huh. Okay, so now it's correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Follow. Uh -huh. Now let's have a break. And then follow, you may leave because uh, now we will discuss the first homework. So follow has completed it. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start with task number. Maybe. So what about task number two from the homework? I think it's easy. Maybe we, uh, we will start with task number four or not. Can we see the algorithm? No, хорошо. No, ладно. Okay, so homework or so homework two. Uh, homework task two. Homework one, task two. Mm -hmm. Shall we discuss it or not? <laughs> So y prime minus y equals e to x and the initial value problem y of zero equals one. Well, mm -hmm. uh, so we must 
uh, solve this using the Lapla Laplace transform. And you may check your answer by substituting into the equation, like by verifying whether the equation is satisfied, or you may use, uh, you may check the answer by solving it um, in a different manner, for example, using the um, characteristic equation and um, the method of undetermined coefficients, right? Okay, so let's use the Laplace transform. Okay, so if we apply the function L to, do, to, to this hmm, e to x, Laplace transform, then we obtain the following. Uh, so one prime, one double prime. Just a moment. Mm -hmm, one prime. Mm -hmm. um, it will be. Uh, so first we start with s minus one. So uh, this is the polynomial. Uh, so um, comes from the characteristic polynomial, right? The characteristic polynomial s minus one multiplied by l of y. Then we put minus. Then to have a scheme or not, or shall I um, state them? Shall I recall the general scheme for writing this equation? All right. Okay. I will use this part of the blackboard. So if we are trying to solve something, uh, the nth derivative of y plus um, a. N minus one y n minus one the derivative plus dot 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 plus uh, a zero y equals um, f of t f of x and we have initial value problem y of zero equals y zero y prime of 0 equals y uh, 0 prime, and so on. So the initial value problem. Mm -hmm. uh, then we should write the following. We should form the characteristic polynomial s to n plus a n minus 1 s to n minus 1 a 0 a 0 multiplied by l of y. And uh, in what follows, so our, our goal is to find L of y and then to recover y from, from the formula. Next, minus. Then we should reduce uh, the power of this polynomial, so subtract 1 from the powers. And so it will be s to n minus 1 plus a n minus 1 as n minus 2 a1 multiplied by y0. Next, minus. Um, we should reduce the power one more time, and uh, it will be s n minus 2 plus a n minus 1 s n minus 3 a2 times y0 prime minus dot dot dot. And uh, we should find the Laplace transform of the function f of x using the table of Laplace transforms. Mm -hmm. So in our case, it will be s minus 1 times L of y minus 1 multiplied by, uh, by, by, by 1. Mm -hmm. So the initial value is, is 1, right? So it should be so times 1. Mm -hmm. Okay. Equals the Laplace transform of e to x. It is 1 over s minus 1. Well, so uh, next we should solve this equation for a of y. Uh, so div by dividing by s minus 1, we get 1 over s minus 1 squared plus 1 over s minus 1. Right, so because uh, this is moved to the right hand side and divided by s minus 1. So divide by s minus 1. So we get this, and after this, we need to recover y. 
So we have a table of Laplace transforms. Um, do you have a link to our folder? You may find uh, the lecture with this table, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Kafi, do you do you, uh, have you seen the lecture? Lecture number one, and uh, there is the table of Laplace transforms, and we may use it. By this table, y is equal to to what? Uh, so going back, uh, the Laplace transform, uh, the inverse Laplace transform is e to x, and the inverse Laplace transform for this is x times e to x due to the power squared, right? Since it is squared, so plus, and this is the answer. So we have obtained the answer to, to our question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it is easy. So task number one is very easy. And uh, task number four. The thing is, for me, I thought it happens to a problem when when the equal was a bit bigger. Right, of course, yes. So now we will try to solve it. Mm, so the next is y2 primes uh, plus 3y prime plus 2y equals 12 e to 2x. Mm -hmm. 3, 2, mm -hmm. next, mm, the initial value problem, y of 0 is 1, y prime of 0 is negative 1. Mm -hmm. Well, who wants, uh, who wants to solve it using this algorithm? Mm -hmm. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Take the chalk in that way. Mm -hmm. It's bigger. Uh -huh. so it's going to be um, via, via the algorithm, it's going to be um, s squared plus uh -huh. 3 s plus 2. Mm -hmm. um, L of y. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Minus. Um, let's go multiply this. I'm going to be mm -hmm. s, s plus 3 mm -hmm. multiplied by 1. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then, yeah, and then mm -hmm. minus 1. Mm -hmm. minus one. Well, right. Minus one, mm -hmm. plus, one. plus one. Right. Mm -hmm. Equal to. Equal to. Mm -hmm. Next. Uh, uh, uh huh. What, what, what is the Laplace transform for this for this function? So uh, the Laplace transform is a linear function. So twelve is a constant. It can be moved here. So right, twelve. Right. Twelve is a constant. And by linearity, it is twelve. So you should find the Laplace transform of this function. It must be times L of e to 2x. And what is L of e to 2x? You may take the table and use the table uh, th that way. Take oh. the table. Mm -hmm. So please do it. Mm -hmm. I want Daniel to do this. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. So then it's going to... Mm -hmm. So you sh next you must simplify this part. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm, open the brackets, uh, collect similar terms, then substitute this function here, and mm -hmm. okay. so arrange all the mm -hmm. equation. Mm -hmm. Right. It's going to be equal to well, this is going to be twelve. Mm -hmm. um, S minus two. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be four. Not and four. Oh yeah, sorry. So it's going to be minus. Half. And this is your main mistake. <laughs> so you should be very careful. Right. Minus three plus one. Mm -hmm. Plus two. Yeah. Right. And this is correct. So now mm -hmm. we want to get L of y. So L of y. Right. Mm -hmm. Equals to. Then you have to divide this. Divided by. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, and Optimum. so you should factor this uh, mm -hmm. this polynomial. So it's going to be two and one, so it's going to be s of s two and one s get yeah, two. Um, so yeah, so there's no factoring. It's just an easy factorization. So this s plus one, s plus two. So s squared, three mm -hmm. s. Oh, no, but here's the problem. I cannot <laughs> factor. You just proceed your right. stuff. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, okay, so it's going to be 12 mm -hmm. s minus 2. Times s plus 2. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. right. these factors here. 
S minus 2 times. Мы делим, да, конечно, делим. Вот просто надо сюда еще умножить на x плюс, а, s ну плюс да, 1 на x плюс 2. Not plus, but multiply. Uh -huh. Times, multiply. Right. Uh -huh. right. And plus the other term. Uh -huh. Plus, right, divide, of course, yes. Mm -hmm. S, over, S plus one is over two. S plus two is better. Right, S plus two, because you will have mm. uh, two similar, uh, two, say, mm -hmm. uh -huh. two same factors, and you may ca cancel them out. Plus two and S minus two. Uh, so, oh, no, no, uh, it's okay. So, uh, then factor, uh, factor them out. Mm -hmm. So we can take this out. Right. We mm -hmm. One. Well, we can rewrite this as one <laughs> over s plus one. Right. S plus one. Mm -hmm. Correct. After this, you should uh, do the uh, partial decomposition, partial fraction decomposition for this twelve divided by. So use this part of the blackboard. Oh, <laughs> right. So as in the theory of integrals. Yes, as in the Uh, right, so mm -hmm. partial, partial fraction decomposition. Right. You know, that's the same thing. You have the same answer, but you cut some out. Ah, uh, the same answer. I think this not. Is, this is the same? I think uh, I think this is ah, 12. Oh, I think this is correct. It seems to me that this is correct. So if we add, if you add one over s plus one to e, right, minus three. Uh, so this is uh, this is correct. Right. And what about the uh, the homework? Cut marks in, cut, this. Cut marks in yeah. this. You gave me 0 0.8. Mm, I will have a look maybe yeah. because because this is correct, I think. I, it is correct. So this is the final answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you should add some things. Uh, not not minus, S minus, S plus one. It must be plus one, s plus one, oh, plus okay. one, and you should add these terms together. So not minus, but plus. They you, you should you should add them. Uh, yes. You will so get minus five. three over not uh, minus, minus three, three, minus three over s, s plus, plus one, one, and then uh -huh, and then complete. Uh huh. And this will be correct. Uh, send this uh, task again, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. And I will check right. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. it's, it's better to substitute uh, the roots, substitute s equals negative one. Uh -huh. So uh, how to find a, b, and c? What is your opinion? Well, is I, I do it kind of like a long time, open the brackets. Open the brackets. It's too long yeah. and too complicated. Yeah. Okay, and uh, you will make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the best way to find A, B, and C is to substitute something, to substitute S equals negative 1 into the left-hand side and the right-hand side. You will get 12 equals, so right? So uh, this is 0. This is not zero, so substituted here. B no. times So zero multiplied ah, yeah, yeah. by anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that, that, that. it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Times one. Uh, so minus one plus two is one. Mm -hmm. uh, so and this is zero also because uh, yeah, it yeah, is multiplied yeah. by zero. So we can see that so from this equation we can find b. <laughs> B is negative four, and what about calculus? Uh, so did did Leonid uh, I teach you how to? I'm more into programming. <laughs> what about calculus? What about integration? Did Leonid uh, yeah, he taught us integration. teach you uh, yeah. teach you to to use this? <laughs> this method mm -hmm, to find B. Okay, next, find A and C. Mm -hmm. so to, to find A, so you you may substitute the other roots. Uh, S equals yeah. negative two. Take S okay. equals negative two. Minus. But isn't this way? It's like guessing way. Like not guessing, of course not. Oh. Uh, so this is the valid way. It is. 
gonna be 12 equals two. So we should take mm -hmm. minus two. Mm -hmm. So here it's gonna be zero. We don't care about a minus two. When we take it, it's gonna be zero. We don't care. Um, and here's gonna be minus mm -hmm. four and minus one. It's gonna be four, so it's mm -hmm. gonna be minus four. C. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be C. C equals two. This is a very legal way, so it's it's a key. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm surprised that you can just right. What I did was it, like, it, um, it's it's right. Yeah. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Much then, much more easy than opening the brackets and then mm -hmm, collecting like factors. <laughs> very That's long true. way. But then Next, af after all, we, we can, can substitute, substitute 2. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And substituting 2 will uh, will give 0 for this term and this okay, term, okay. right? So it's going to be 12 equals to, it's going to be 3. Mm -hmm. This would be 4. four. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 12. 12a. Twelve a. Mm -hmm. a is 1. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, so we have obtained the following. So uh, 1 over s minus 2, mm -hmm. minus 4 over s plus 1, plus 3 over s plus 2. Mm. And uh, we have one more term, this one. So for L of y. Okay. So if we want L of y, what is it? L of y is equal to, you, you must add uh, this term to our Good. sum. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a 2, right? So it's going to be s minus 2, and then mm -hmm. it's going to be minus and plus so and no, plus plus one so uh, you should add uh, one over s minus three mm -hmm. it will be minus three mm -hmm. Kathy is it clear <laughs> so I think you missed the first lecture right and the first seminar so mm -hmm. uh, no <laughs> or, or uh, I, I don't and then we can break this down uh -huh. I don't remember. <laughs> Right, and next mm, we must mm, use this table to find the inverse, so to recover the function y. So we know the Laplace transform of y, and we now we want to recover yeah, mm -hmm. so I think from this table. Mm -hmm, go back uh, e to two, two x correct mm -hmm. um, and then three to some minus three mm -hmm. e two. Negative. Oh yeah, because it's negative here. x. Mm -hmm. So you should uh, change the sign, right? Mm -hmm. Somehow minus x right here. Right. And this then, is correct. Mm -hmm. And then going to be plus three. Mm -hmm. And since it's going to be e to the power of minus. Mm -hmm. Minus two. Right. And this is correct. Okay. Correct. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. <laughs> oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Do. You, uh, uh huh. So this is correct. Uh -huh. so and what about? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think I think it's correct now. Is so is this the same yes. or not? Uh, so three to the power. Mm, I think I think not. Right. So mm, I will have uh, um, right. Okay, this is correct. Rohan, this is correct. E so I think you e you confused. A May, a maybe a you a have confused. Minus two. A three, three by S minus two. Ah uh, no, I think not. Mm -hmm. So check your computations. So these computations are correct, uh, and so I have the same answer okay. in my uh -huh, okay. solution. Mm -hmm. So what about next? Do you need to solve? Maybe a number eight. I would like to solve it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kefir, do you want to solve number eight? So I will write there. Uh huh. Okay, it will be y double prime plus two y prime. Uh, plus y plus x plus 2 times e to negative x mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you may have a uh, take a new chalk mm -hmm. long chalk 
Mm, ah, sixth question. Right, maybe you, you will do it yourself. <laughs> it is not difficult, I think. Ah, eight is easy, more, more easy than sixth. Ah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You may use the table if you want, or uh, and linearity, try to obtain this. Mm -hmm. S plus one mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. X plus two. So we have a linearity. And if you multiply by X, then you take the, uh, 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 mm, so <laughs> just a moment, I'll show you. So yeah. it's, it, it is here. N is one, then it, it should be uh, squared, right? N is one, mm -hmm. yes. In accordance of, with this formula, so n plus one, so one plus one is two, so it, it must be squared. Mm -hmm. uh, right, and two divided by s plus one. Mm -hmm. N plus. Mm -hmm. So this is correct. Uh -huh. Look at the blackboard. So uh, the Laplace transform of this x plus two times e to the power minus x is this, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus one equals the right hand side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the equality, right? Uh -huh. We didn't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, correct. And now it is very easy to divide. <laughs> you, uh, and you need not perform um, partial decomposition, right? <laughs> because it is given in advance. S plus 1 to 4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 1 divided by s plus 1, compare the powers, mm -hmm. s plus 1, right. Mm -hmm. And then you may use the table again to recover y. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is e to the power minus x, this is, mm -hmm. but you need the coefficient. Look at the n factorial here, so n factorial, right. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's this, maybe you may take it. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I may check the, the answer. It, it is number eight, one plus x squared. Uh, so, look at the coefficients, one over six and... Three. What shall we do? Mm -hmm. so should I, 
Oh, minus six. One over six. Yeah. Because this is the factorial, so uh, the table. Uh huh. Kathy has the table because in the formula there is n factorial divided by something. Yeah, so so this is factorial, factorial, so you must multiply by 1, one over 6. six. Uh, which one? Yeah. Um, this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. 1 over yeah. 6. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I think it's correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm, I will write. Yeah. So Rohan. It is uh, so number eight mm -hmm. is correct and mm -hmm. number number four four, four is correct. Давайте, да. Я думаю, что мы вот сейчас остановимся и дальше вы дом просто делаете. Конечно. So you will complete your homework at home. А, вот это. Давайте, папа, помогу. А, и вы как раз самый сложный, да? Так просто надо аккуратно разложить. So uh, make the uh, partial right partial, partial decomposition. This is correct, mm -hmm. as I remember. This is correct, and uh, so perform the the partial fraction decomposition for this and for this and for this it should be um, a over s plus one. And just do it carefully, mm -hmm. and that's all. So the algorithm is okay. Minus four plus d over it's minus one, right? So do not forget mm -hmm, about this. And and plus this, or maybe uh, you may add them first. Ah. So write it as um, so. Find a common denominator, and it will be Ten so plus s plus one. Plus so s plus eleven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, so. Um, so perform the, the decomposition for this fraction, okay. right? For uh, divide by s minus four and then minus mm -hmm. minus one and present in this one okay. and <laughs> and find the constants carefully yeah. and that's all. And mm -hmm. for ten? Mm -hmm. for ten okay, you must use cosines and sines for these functions, oh. like uh, okay, I will show you. Uh -huh. I think uh, right, this is correct. Mm -hmm. I see this is correct. Uh, okay, so if you have squares, mm -hmm. s squared plus two squared, for example, it is cos, cos or sine, so we use these functions, cos right? Mm -hmm. Cos, mm -hmm. AX cos mm -hmm. plus mm -hmm. x plus x, right? but this mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. but what can I do with the box? For this, uh, the constant, uh, this is sine, just sine uh, 2x, sine 2x, 2x. Mm -hmm. okay. so multiplied by 4. Mm -hmm. okay. And then one plus the same, uh, so it's uh, sine, sine, right. sine, ah, or maybe the squared. So maybe maybe it must be squared or not. This is the question, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, if you divide, ah, so you must divide by this first, mm -hmm. and you will get uh, something from from this list. You should combine these two functions, mm -hmm. so because uh, it will be squared, okay. right? Yeah. It must be squared here and here. So not not the ah plus one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, mm, it must be four s divided by this squared, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Plus a divided mm -hmm. squared and uh, without square and mm -hmm. here without square and uh, we will get uh, if you are right then um, it is one half sine mm -hmm. two x mm. and uh, you should combine these uh, uh, so and construct these functions from these two functions squared mm -hmm. like right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well try to do this. Ну, это, конечно, присылайте, да. Окей, well. Давайте второе обсудим. Только вы, смотрите, только просьба сначала, чтобы вы порешали дома. So try to solve the second homework, and we will discuss the homework number two after this. Можете послать, right? Try to send it to me, and after this we will discuss. 